The panic is real. Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Clarence Thomas has the left in an absolute all-out panic mode because of the case that's before him regarding Trump's immunity. And when you watch these throwback videos and see Joe Biden's reaction in it, you're going to understand why. Any friend of his to refuse is just not worth it. And Judge, you're here, though. Some people have been spreading the rumor that perhaps you're going to withdraw. What's, what's Clarence Thomas going to do? I'd Would rather you? die than withdraw. If they're going to kill me, they're going to kill me. So you'd still like to serve on the Supreme Court? I'd rather die than withdraw from the process. Not for the purpose of serving on the Supreme Court, but for the purpose of not being driven out of this process. I would not be scared. I don't like bullies. I've never run from bullies. I never cry uncle, and I'm not going to cry uncle today whether I want to be on the Supreme See, Clarence Thomas is not some shrinking violet. And the left is right now on a campaign saying he needs to recuse himself. He needs to recuse himself. I'll show you some of that in just a second. But what you need to understand, my favorite part of this video is watching Joe Biden's reaction. Because this is during their hearings back in 1991 when they actually went after him for something with Anita Hill, some impropriety that never occurred. And they planted and faked it. And it was just all a, just a con job. And that's his response. I would rather die. They expected him to waltz away, but he didn't. He didn't waltz away then, and he's not going to waltz away now, even with people like Mark Elias putting pressure on him. That's right. Mark Elias said the request, which came in the form of a letter sent on Friday, centers around the actions of Thomas's wife, Ginny Thomas, who was intimately involved with Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election, according to the group of Democrats. Yes, that's right. Mark Elias wants him recused. So this Lindy Lee on Twitter, but there's hundreds of, I mean, thousands of tweets like this, all asking Thomas to recuse himself. Clarence Thomas threatened to resign unless donors funded his lavish lifestyle. It's not, this stuff isn't even true. Trump threatened to go third party unless the GOP fell in line. Mega threatened to kill Pence. No, come on, settle down. Bannon threatened civil war. We're being held hostage by right-wing lunatics that keep going on it. But here's the truth. Truths are tweeted. Judge Chutkin, a consistent Democrat donor who has shown clear anti-Trump bias and recited liberal MSM propaganda, refuses to recuse herself. Judge Engeron, another consistent Democrat donor who has made comments exposing his clear anti-Trump bias and who came up with the bogus Mar-a-Lago valuation, refuses to recuse himself. Now Democrats want Clarence Thomas, one of the greatest SCOTUS justices of all time, to recuse himself in the Trump immunity case because of his comments his wife made, not him. It's your daily dose of hypocrisy from the far left. People, you need to understand he's not going to recuse himself. They're in absolute meltdown over this because they know they're not going to get the decision they want. And I'll leave you with one last clip from Clarence Thomas because it shows you the strength of his character. Do check out my sponsor, MyPillow. MyPillow.com promo code Lumberjack will give you a big savings over there. And make sure you subscribe if you're new. Now check this out. You can be in the middle of a hurricane or you can be on a calm day. North is still north. You could be in a thunderstorm. North is still north. People can yell at you. North is still north. It doesn't change fundamental things.